lunatics. Lunatics. I climbed all the way up. I did it. That's thousands of feet. I'm kidding, no, I didn't. Any bushcrafter knows. Pickles. Birch Park. Sounds right. You ready? And that's it. So people wanted me to describe the sound of the rock. See if you could listen. High pitch. Hear the ringy? Dull? Ringy. And that's a good indicator. When you hear that sound, you can usually nap it. This is necessary. Yes, yes. All right. I'm in the middle of nowhere in New Hampshire. Got it. Day one. Day freaking one. And I find it. Goal complete. Holy cow. Oh my god. Wow. They made fluted points out of this stuff. Got in kind of early yesterday, set up the tent, and I just wanted to show camp real quick. Got our pickles and birch bark right there. Little tiny fire pit. It's a pretty decent layout. Nice and big space. There's a the little red squirrels making a ton of noise, but they're really cute. <laughs> little tiny red guys. I saw one while I was walking to pay the campsite. Um, it's a self pay thing. You just put the money in a drop slot with your name on it and license plate and all that. But um, I was walking down through here and all of a sudden, this little thing runs out at me. I was like, ah, what is that? Thought it was like a, uh, a rat or something, but it was a little red, little red squirrel. And the little red squirrel had uh, a green pine cone in its mouth. And it was cute. Um, but I was really annoyed because it startled the hell out of me. I thought it was like a raccoon or baby raccoon or something. I don't know. I, not used to seeing red squirrels. But the sun is just coming out. I don't even know what time it is. I didn't check yet. There we go. It's cold. Cold up here. We're in the uh, White Mountains. I did scan some of the rock in the uh, pavement here. I don't really see anything too good. For any kind of tool, stone tools or anything like that. 
Okay. When I figure out what's going on, I'll get back to you. It's actually cold enough at the end of July to be wearing a sweater. I'm cold. tell you something about this in a little bit this stuff here it's called rabbit foot clover really cool stuff Not far from those mountains, There's some uh, known Paleo Indian camps, uh, like 13,000 years old. Piece of rhyolite right there, but I So, this appears to be what I'm looking for. It looks right. Let me look for a little more. A few samples would be nice. Looks like it's just uh, cobble. Glacial cobble. See that edge? Yeah, this is it. Sweet, man. All right, let me look around. All right. I don't have a lot of rock to look at here, but I definitely found one piece of the rhyolite I've been looking for. There's more rocks over there, but I can't get to them on that little shore there. That's private property. So all that I have is this little space right here to look. And I'm not seeing any more of anything that looks like that. This has been bounced around down here. I think this is it. This is the rhyolite I've been looking for. This is the stuff the paleo guys around here used. I think. I did not test it yet, so I had a little hammer stone. Moment of truth here. I'll take a little flake, just a tiny one. Sounds right. 
Ready? And that's it. That is it. That is the rhyolite. Awesome. Remember how I said that whole, uh, I go blank faced when I get excited? I am excited. Extremely. <laughs> Look at this. It's got cool banding. Yep. Okay. Only one piece that I could get to here. So I'm gonna have to come back and look a little bit more when the waters are lower. Oh man. All right, before I head out here, mission complete, I'll say that. But I wanted to show off these um, kind of stripes in the rock. That's what caught my eye. Does not look the same on camera as it does to my eye. Kind of looks like little zebra stripes. But flakes really nice. There, you can see the stripes in the rock there. It's really interesting how it looks very coarse grained inside. Like if you show where you took the flake, yeah. it looks really rough. It's smooth. But when you feel it, it's smooth and very um, chart like. I'm trying to get a good view of it. There. There we go. That looks like a rhyolite to me. Um, reminds me of the black stuff from uh, North Carolina in consistency here. Feels the same. The black rhyolite from North Carolina. All right. I just really wanted to uh, record this little glacial cobble and uh, show it before I nap it because I am going to nap this for myself. Day one, day freaking one, and I find it, goal complete. Holy cow, oh my God. Mountain. Railroad track. I'm just gonna take a quick look. Quick glance. Look at this railroad rock. See if I see any of that stuff. That bright light. Man, I'm so happy that I found that. I only found one piece. I'm still gonna nap it, but now I'm no more nervous to nap it. Okay, I'm not seeing it in the track material either. There is some like basalt and stuff that I could nap though. All right. All right, all right. I'll get going. Leah just yelled, stop, I gotta look at something. And she jumped out and what do you got? What'd you say? It's like crystal. Stop. Crystal quartz. I gotta look at something. It's not flint. I don't know what that powder is. Kind of ancient. Whatever. What that? Quartz crystal. Pretty. Alright, stop. Just wanted to show you what we're at here. It just looks like a little creek, right? Little creek, little <laughs> creek. Tadpoles. Little ones. This is crazy.
stuff I'm seeing here is um, rhyolites and metarhyolites, kind of scattered everywhere. Thick chunks of quartz. I'm surprised you stepped over this giant quartz crystal here. This whole big brick is rhyolite. If you find uh, rhyolite, it doesn't mean it's an amazing canap. This looks interesting. This blue. Let me check it. So this piece is something. I just don't know what yet. It might be basalt. I'm going to have to get into it with the steel hammer because uh, there's not really many ledges that I could hit very hard on here. You try something. I think this might be a basalt. I just wanted to check it. Crystal pocket, but it's basalt. Along those edges. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, also basalt. Pretty high quality though. Yeah. I'll try to nap this. Nap basalt? Yeah. I'll give it a try. just on a ridge above this river here and there's some velvet leaf blueberries. They're tiny ones. There's a whole bunch right here. See that? Velvet leaf. Just wanted to look around in a few more spots. Wow, totally different rock here than across the road the heck? What is this? Is this basalt? Blue rock. Like this, whatever this is, it looks pretty pure. Limestone? Salt. All right, putting you down for a second to test it. Basalt or limestone. It's really tough. 
So there's a lot of the blue stuff, the tough blue stuff down here. Just on the side of the road here. Man, if that stuff's any good, there's a lot of it here. Just give you guys a good view of uh, some of the stuff that you can nap, that blue stuff you can nap, it's just tough. The, uh, if I use the indirect on that stuff, it would work. It's definitely sharp. All right. Any trout? Yeah, fishy, fishy. All right, hopping back in the car. That looks like bear track. That might be bear. It's big. I don't see anything. I mean, it's big. Big bear. Big bear, chase! Big bear, chase! What does he say? What? Big bear, chase me! <laughs> Right light. This is um, Jefferson Rhyolite. I only have one piece, so hopefully I can make something nice from it. It's really hanging up. There we go. That got rid of a lot of it. That's what I was aiming for. Okay, it looks like that's as good as it's gonna get. Probably we'd be better off working a flake, but we will put this on a dart and test it. That should be enough, I think. All right, just lightly glued it in there. Burnt the heck out of myself. I just wet it to see what it would look like and it looks much prettier like that. Let's 
try flint and steel again. Just like that. Tough one, but got it done. Got it going now. Let it dry. Put the char cloth back into the fire in the tin uh, to see if that'll dry it out. And maybe it won't char it too much. I don't know. We'll see. Approved, yes or no? Good fire. Leah approved. Sun's going down quick. I'm a little disappointed in this thing. I thought it was going to be a bit wider. But trouble thinning it. Leah's getting a stick for the fire. Um, but we'll see how that works in the morning, I guess. It's not dry yet. I'll give it a test. Um materials very hard to thin and kind of flakes weird but I'm sure just like anything else if I got used to it I would uh I would be pretty good at it uh, I was looking at uh, the artifacts and I'll clip those in the video 
when I upload it. Um, <clears throat> the artifacts. The artifacts are kind of thick like that. But uh, way better, way better than I make them. We'll see. I wish I had more. But like I said, I'm excited that I was able to get anything at all from it. Hope I could find more. We'll see. I only had two nights here this time, so. She's messing with the fire. Alright. I'm gonna sit by the fire and uh, go to sleep. Then we gotta be out of here by noon. <sighs> and then I'll come home, edit the videos, and <clears throat> get them uploaded to you. Alright, have a good night. Didn't dry all the way overnight. So. Only gonna get uh, one throw with this. It's probably gonna come loose, but maybe not. We'll see. did not break. This is, uh, this is hard plastic. Alright. see what we got here. It is wedged in there. There we go. Yep. Hard plastic, uh, as compared to skin. That'd work. That would work. Nice. Kind of chunky, narrow. Super sharp point. Still, sh still sharp as heck. Look at that. <sighs> Nothing like uh, throwing a spear at six in the morning. Yeah, that's good now. So I just threw the tin into the fire. Created a whole bunch of char cloth. Just in one of those cans. Ten. <clears throat> Gunk in there. I was reading last night that this stuff is super hard to come by. It's just in glacial cobble. But the paleo guys used it. And again, I'll clip in more pictures right here. They really gotta figure out a way to, um, let the stuff dry. Bless you. How to let the sinew dry overnight. It doesn't dry in the mountains. Oh man, I gotta wake up. Bless you.
gotta be in here somewhere. It's one of these. Where is it? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Lunatics. Lunatics. I climbed all the way up. I did it. That's thousands of feet. I'm kidding. No, I didn't. Guys, we are out here in the wilderness of New Hampshire. We're looking for rocks. We're gonna see all kinds of nature like this. It's so beautiful here, guys. This is amazing, really. So we're gonna see if I could find flint. Uh, quartzite, flint, rhyolite, make into stone tools, bushcraft tools, survival tools, and arrowheads. So stick around, guys. You're gonna love this, I promise. Look at this, guys. Like, look at this. I'm in the wilderness of New Hampshire. There ain't, there ain't anything here. I'm, I've seen stuff here that I've never seen in my life. Stuff I've never seen before. Plants, mountain ranges that are huge. Never seen anything like this. I really freaking love it here. piece of brick of quartz so that'll make a spear point but that's not what I'm looking for uh, I'll show you that at a play so good for good for spear points and this year I've recently learned is the Western dusky slug bluegill love them you put that on a hook you catch in a bluegill We had pizza here last night and I wanted to go into the White Mountain General store. It had homemade fudge and we just got some. Look at that. I'm gonna try it in a second. I also got new hat, White Mountains. I'm going to keep the tag on and wear it like this the whole time. All right, let's go. Amazing. Mmm. Wow. It's almost too sweet. Wow. Might not need to get a coffee now. Hmm. Okay, I'm heading out. Hmm. Hmm. Thumbs up on that. What does that mean? That's not helpful.
Look, we're in a cloud. Check this out. This is, uh, what is, what now is this? Crawford Notch. Look that up online. Like we're literally, like the top, that is not the top of the, that is not the top of the mountain. Top of the mountain is in clouds. That's a cloud. Like, look up here. Check that out. Wow. This is crazy. Notch. It's called a notch. You're driving like through a valley. It's pretty crazy. Another waterfall right there. Okay. Jasper, quartz, amethyst, that's Jasper. all inapplable, Agate only the ones I just said, agate, jasper, quartz, amethyst, I don't know if adventure ain't is, that'd be worth trying, and these are definitely inapplable, obsidian, Snappable. Yep. Little ember. We go. I've napped them before. Heat them. Try heating them. Hmm. That would be cool to see a nap. They're expensive. How much are they? I don't know how much these know. are. They're usually expensive and I break a lot of them. Is it brittle? Yeah, it's it snaps in half a lot. I usually nap the uh, thinner ones though. Oh yeah, the slices, that would be good. Is Plain, plain rock. But look what's inside. percent rhyolite. Oh crap, did we finally find it? This is not a Jefferson rhyolite, but this is rhyolite. Definitely. So nowhere near where they said it would be. Yeah. I looked for the speckles with the black. Um, it's a meta rhyolite. It's very, very tough. Uh, they're similar in Pennsylvania, and there's also some in Maine. 
that uh, people said to use wood, wood billets to knock flakes off. Use wood billets on this? Yeah. But there we go. All right, light. Okay, so I said, and this is a me quote, same river, we're gonna find the same stuff here. Wrong. I'm only a few miles away and I found some rhyolite that wasn't at the other spot. Keep that in mind. So people have been saying you can't make money with rocks. You're about to make some money for some pretty <laughs> rocks because I'm gonna buy this shit. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at that. Pretty rocks. Pretty rocks, one dollar. It's amethyst. Is it amethyst? Look, smoky quartz? I am buying this. This might be a uh you can make money with rocks. <laughs> Truth. Look at that. One dollar. Souvenir. Thank you. That is incredibly high. <laughs> it's really high. That is really high. Like you probably can't tell on camera, but I would definitely have vertigo up there. <laughs> All right, so I just napped this super quick. I knocked a flake of that, that metarhyolite off, and I just percussion shaped it into a pretty sturdy spear point. I'm gonna thin it out a bit more with indirect in a little bit, but uh, yeah, that works, guys. What? Wow. Oh my god. There's the river we were just at. been higher up than this before, but this seems pretty high. What was that other mountain we climbed with the snow? Mm, North Carolina. Somewhere in North Carolina. It was the uh, largest peak east of the Mississippi. Um, gosh, I can't remember the name escapes me. Look at this. That's the Seiko River down there where we were. Rock face. Oh my gosh, look at this. What are you doing? Lunatics. Lunatics. They have their back to the cliff. Now they're just lying on the rocks.
we're at the top of the cliffs here. And right here is Velvet Leaf Blueberry. You can see some of the berries right there. And then there's also... Tea berry. Tea berry, winter green. I'll climb next time. That's nuts, that is insane. So this is the metarhyolite that I pulled out of the river. I'm gonna take a flake off. This is what metarhyolite looks like. It works, it gets sharp. It looks evil and difficult. Oh my god. <sighs> Say. Perfect. Sharp. Built up. Yeah. Saw this enormous cow. So we're gonna get some food here. It's, it's a chunk. A chunk cow. Like Rome's village. Chow's down at dumpster. <laughs> I'm always working. God. <laughs> that was like two feet from my head. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I can't believe we found the moose. The moose was two feet from my head. He was big. <laughs> oh my God. And terrifying. He was really big. Oh that was my big. God. know how I just laid in the tent and went to sleep last night we just like right up the road from where I was sleeping drove past this like wilderness giant beast 
god thing moose and then I was like okay yeah this ground right here is a good place to go to sleep immediately following seeing an ancient god of the wilderness walk past my car and me being afraid it was gonna flip it over <laughs> this is a good place to sleep right on the ground right here okay and out asleep He says there's a bear over here, and Jay's like, let's go see. <laughs> Jay. That way. can even give a proper introduction to this place. Bear. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by a bear. Is it safe? Here's my footage of where we are. Bear was right down there. Crazy. This is nothing like <laughs> Connecticut. What the hell was that thing? It was so big. It was like a bird. It's a fly bird. Just flew in the car. Some kind of sparrow fly or what the hell? 
I forgot what I was saying. I'll get back to you. I'm kind of scared now. Big brick. Black, blue, flint. Oh, I think I see it. There's also black, brown cobbles. Uh, and Chalcedony right there. Chalcedony? Chalcedony. So I think we found a path. Jay got his sledge. Let's see if we can get down to this river. Actually, a meta, meta rhyolite. But you could nap this stuff for sure. It is the meta rhyolite. It's similar to the Pennsylvania stuff. That looks really tough. Really tough. Off. It kind of looks like basalt. Yeah, like a high grain basalt. I don't know. I mean, it flakes good, like. So it's sharp as heck. It definitely flakes. It's very rough. I'll take this one little piece to experiment with and see if it's, uh, usable or not. There's quite a few things here. There's uh, quartzite. This, I think, is some kind of basalt. And I think I found argillite as well. Stone with quartzite, looks like. What's this? It's a maybe. The reason I say maybe is I see this chewed up end. So we'll test a few spots on it. Rhyolite. That is definitely rhyolite. Already? We just got here. Already found the rhyolite. I don't know if this is the rhyolite I was looking for, but this is definitely... It looks like meta rhyolite. It's another big piece right here. Ooh. 
How's that look? It's gonna be rougher. No, I would say it's too chalky. Like not chalky, but too rough. Yeah, that's down though. So people asked me to show the sound. So people wanted me to describe the sound of the rock. See if you could listen. High pitch. Hear the ringy? Dull, ringy. And that's a good indicator. When you hear that sound, you can usually nap it. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna take it as a sample and figure it out. I'm getting fit to high hell here. Yeah, if the camera shakes, it's because I'm getting bit as well. So it looks like there is some kind of rhyolite down here, but I don't know what kind. All right. Uh, I still want to get to that big piece. I have to climb over this somehow. So this is the meta rhyolite that I pulled out of the river. I'm going to take a flake off. This is what meta rhyolite looks like. It works, it gets sharp. It looks evil and difficult. Built up. Yeah. Literally gonna crawl through the brush to try to get to this. Try to get to this flint. This, this looks similar to something that I saw online. Will you test this for me? Pulse it. Don't hit me. That's the best I can do. Sorry. That looks like a shale. A shale? Yeah. I will be able to get to that other 
uh, big chunk. What? I'll be able to get to that other big chunk. You want to try the hammer? Sure. God, there's like spiders and shit I'm crawling through. I don't know if you can see this guy. Where is he? Right there. What is that? Oh my god. Ooh, creepy. I got it. Alright, let's see if we can get over here. Ow, I'm getting bit. Stop it. Stop biting. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. There it is. The prize. Oh, I don't know now. Hmm. Not as good as Jay at finding angles. Let's try this one though. Oh wow, it's really heavy. I don't think I can get it. Hold on. It does look limestone. Ooh. Oh, what the? Look <laughs> at my way. Grab that. Oh, maybe. I don't know. This is what tricked me. Yeah, it looks so smooth. But From then... all the way up there, I couldn't see that it was limestone. Yeah. Let's check that piece. Watch your feet. Um, all right, let me hop over here. Oops. Yeah, the limestone. Big block of limestone. All right, so I found rhyolite, metarhyolite, and argillite, but no flint yet, limestone. Why am I surprised? <laughs> well, we got to the campsite and it started pouring and thundering and lightning. Here, you wanna, you wanna show them? 
at a campground with a nice picnic table, fire pit. We got river access down that way. Some big, beautiful trees, some mountains. Also, don't have signal here. No signal. New tent. This one's got a light. Built in. Maybe a lot of stuff will uh, be un out. be uncovered and wash yeah. out. Put it on the bright side, right? I try. Why is this every time <laughs> we have a big trip? It's supposed to do this the entire time we're out. Yay. All right, I'll record more if there's any uh, huge booms or anything crazy. stop next to this railroad track to see if there's any rock in the railroad rock and Leah found a rock with garnets in it right there that's cool there's also a field horsetail that is edible um, and pixie cup lichens they look awesome they look like little little mushrooms Just looking around. Middle of nowhere. I don't see anything here. I'm probably looking right at nappable stuff and walking right over it because I'm not testing anything. I should be testing things. Alright. Back to the road. So we got a temporary rain stop here. Uh, it's supposed to stop for like two, three hours. And uh, I'm just driving on these dirt roads. And I don't really know what I'm looking for. I know I'm looking for rhyolite. I don't know what it looks like. Um, I also know it's in this river that we're on, but I can't find a way down to it. I'm looking, I'm trying. All right. 
Wildcat driving over Sketchy Bridge. Go fast. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, so in the dirt road, I may have just found some. I don't know. I don't know. I'll test it. No idea. That is some rhyolite. That's some low quality rhyolite, but it's here. Cool. All right, now I know what it looks like, kind of. When the river goes down, I'm going to be looking for this kind of stuff. Here's another piece. All right, so that's a success, at least. Got a starting point. The river, the river is right here. There's dirt road here and I found something that looks promising. Here. I'm gonna give it a quick test. There's a bunch more right down here in the gravel. Almost looks like a quartzite to me, but it naps nice. It's sharp. I don't know. Is that rhyolite or is that quartzite? Oop. Maybe you guys know. I'm not too sure. Well, at the very least, I found some nice napping quartzite. All right. Hmm. Awesome. Right behind those clouds there is uh, Mount Washington. It's like the biggest mountain around. Uh, recently, when they had the, uh, the coldest day ever or whatever it was, coldest it's ever been, top of Mount Washington, you guys should go look up that f footage. Top of Mount Washington, I think it was negative. I was insane. Negative I, 40 I, or something. No, I, I feel like it was even more than that, but it was insane. I think it was during the polar vortex. Yeah. <laughs> this past winter. Yeah, go check that out, guys. I'm gonna test this, I have no idea. Do not know. turkeys right there. I can't zoom in anymore. Can you see them guys? There they are. Any turkey hunters watch my show? There's a cow watching. <laughs> Suspicious cows. What are you doing? Okay. So a lot of this stuff is napping. Let's see, I'll take a flake off real quick. It's like a high quality limestone. I'm not gonna take that. I'll keep looking. Another big piece right here. So I got these two massive boulders up. I have no idea. I'm gonna put them in the trunk. So, you know, just to be safe. All right, so I don't know if that's going to be anything, but we'll test them anyway.
Yeah. It might be. That might be it, I don't know. No. I don't know, man, is this it? I don't know, man. I'll try it. I'll see if I can replicate that point. So this looks more like rhyolite to me. So I'll test this. Kind of just looks the same. All right, I don't know that that's rhyolite, but. And you guys know? So there's a few examples of nappable stuff right here. And I just found this. Uh, it looks highly nappable. I do not know what it is. Let's give it a quick test. Sharp. Kind of looks like a chalcedony. This might be chalcedony right here. Put that there. That's a chalcedony. Ooh. That's not yours. Hold on. I'm going to show the translucence. Hold on. Mm hmm. So, um, there's lots of nappable stuff around. Is any of it rhyolite? I don't really know. But, uh, is there nappable stuff in New Hampshire? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. We stopped at this cool little info booth. And it says, Carol Memorial Bandstand dedicated to those men who lost their lives in the service of the country, July 1976. And look at this view. Wow. There's like a train down there. What the heck is going on here? Found a little piece of brown glass here.
just make a basic one. pressure flaking the glass into shape. Copper nail just in a stick. Impression the pressing the flakes off. To shape the point. How are you pressing the flakes off? So I press into the glass and then down to pop flakes off. Like that. And I'm just zigzagging back and forth doing one side and then the other side to try to shape it. Into an arrowhead. Sharp as heck. Yeah, I left the yeah. Whenever I find broken glass, I do this. There we go.
dude.